every couple day update. Diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo. Every couple day update. Diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo. Can y'all even see that? I can't see it in the preview, but ho 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 wee! Oh my gosh, dang diddly doo. This is the Air, Air Riser Air uh, herb vape for vap vaporizing cannabis so that you don't smoke the plant matter, only the THC. It heats up to a temperature that the plant doesn't burn, only the THC combusts into a vapor. So there's no harmful anything. Uh, it's really good, but I find that with any, uh, man, anytime I vaporize THC, whether it's in a volcano with the bag, whether it's doing dabs or any other version of a handheld herb vaporizer, makes my fucking lungs tight. It's like, it's as if it's being coated with a thin film of THC, like, and it just grabs my lungs and goes, and it's like, you try and breathe in and they won't allow them to expand. They just stay constricted for some reason. So it's not like the best in the world. It's not the best thing for everybody, you know, Harry Pone. Uh, but I just got this thing gifted to me. This is like a $400 vape. It was gifted to me by a client who has a illness, CHS, which is a cannabis related illness that your body's kind of saturated with THC and it starts retching to try and get it out. It makes you barf for days. Uh, so yeah, it's unfortunate that that's happening. She has to go through that, but fortunate for me she gave me all her weed stuff which is really cool and, and appreciated uh yeah and that was one of the things was the air riser air i've been drooling over this thing since it came out on the market like i i hang out at bong stores because i was selling my art at at bong stores so i would hang out at them and i would you know always look at all the cool stuff and uh yeah man it's like it's pretty cool. I mean, I've used like, you know, the $80 vape, uh, and the plant does burn a little bit and the end gets hot. I'm going to do a whole review on this thing in another video. This isn't really the update. Uh, the update is van life because that's what we here for. We out here hashtag and, uh, that's why I'm, I'm doing this every couple day update. Not about vapes. It's not a vape update. This is a van life update. It was freaking cold, man, this morning, last night, slash last evening, because not the temperature. I checked the temperature. It's actually one of the warmer mornings. And it's because uh, I broke my keto diet and I ate some delicious carb, sugary, sweet things. And, oh, uh, man. Fuck, man. I feel it, man. I feel it. Like, ah. Oh. And, like, I don't mean to beat myself up with negative self-talk, but sometimes you gotta fucking bitch slap that shit right out of your hand before it goes in your mouth, man. And I should have done that. I should have said, no, fuck you, Jay. Whap, don't eat that fucking shit. You don't eat that garbage. But I didn't. I ate it. I ate that garbage. And immediately, now here's the thing, man. There's something about, there's something about carbs and sugar energy that it makes your skin like hypersensitive to the cold. And you really feel it. Like you really feel ugh, the icy, the biting, the sharp, the, the nipping at your nose. Like you feel it, man. You feel it. Uh, there's something about being on keto where you're burning fat energy uh, 
you don't feel the cold for whatever reason. I don't know what the science is behind it. It's kind of like a weird side effect that I only... I experienced it first, and then I later read about it. And I never noticed it was happening. Like, I did, kind of. They just didn't clue in. Like, I don't know. I thought, like, you know, usually, yeah, usually I'm a whiny little... Oh, it's cold. Oh. Usually a lot, little more, and it that wasn't happening. But then I read about it, and I was like, oh... That's why. Yeah, I'm also not feeling the cold. Oh, that's why. It's a side effect of keto. And uh, I love it. I love not being the whiny one who's complaining all the time, every step of the day, every step of the way. Whew, it feels good. But, yeah, man, last night was the night. Whew. Got those shivers, got those chills, feeling it everywhere. But uh, the good thing is, you know, it only takes a couple days to kick back into fat burning. Ooh, start burning that fat energy. Ooh. Uh, a quick thing about keto for anyone who doesn't know, even what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, being fat adapted. So if you cut out all sugar, all carbohydrates, which turns into sugar, and manage your protein too because protein also converts into sugar at when you eat too much protein and there is this great thirst for more protein things when you're starting out on keto it's your brain kind of like trying to trick you into like saying like mm, yeah just eat a bunch of protein like eat a bunch of protein extra stuff you know like and it's just going to convert over uh to sugar which is what you don't want so fat burning happens after about seven days of cutting out sugar and carbs, all sugar, all carbs, and your body will start to eat its own fat instead. But obviously you're going to lose a whole bunch of weight and then your body's going <laughs> to, you're going to have to start eating a little more fatty foods in your diet. You're going to have more fatty meats. You're going to have more eggs, but you're going to want more nuts, more avocados, all fat, fat things. You're going to want to just pour the shit of olive oil all over everything. Uh, when you buy your tuna fish, get the tuna fish that's soaking in olive oil. Uh, sardines come in olive oil now. Uh, all, all that kind of shit. Um, yeah, so your body... The thing about sugar energy is that it's a fast burn. It's like you light it and it's like... Whoof, it's a high intense high impact it's like a whoo, go whoosh, and it goes up and it spikes and then it crashes that's the thing about sugar is it's a spike and it crashes and then you're kind of like oh that's why at like 10 in the morning you're groggy and you need a break and y'all gotta go out on break and eat a bunch of fucking garbage put some more sugar in your body for that little whoo, get you to noon whoo, and then crash oh noon's happening better put some more sugar in your body Ooh, get you to that 2 two fifteen break oh thank god eat some more fucking sugar get me to get me to next break or quitting time whatever it is for you and uh you just keep repeating this all night until bedtime your whole life is just ramping up peaking crash peak crash peak crash all day until bedtime that's not a healthy way to live ladies and gentlemen whoo Forget keto, man. You just got to do a video. You'll get heated doing a video, talking about shit. Get passionate about it. Ooh. Um, yeah, so that's sugar for you. High impact. Woof. Gone. The fat, though, it's a slow burn. It's a steady burn. It's there for you all day. It's already in your body everywhere. So when, like, the sugar's not there, the sugar's burning off. Woof then it's gone and then that's why you start getting drowsy and you want to fall asleep and shit you feel your body feels like it needs a nap but with the fat I mean your whole body's got fat all the way through you're never going to run out of fat in your body so that crash doesn't happen so yeah maybe you ate some eggs for breakfast you got that like nice little egg boost Ooh, you're going along mm, burning off those fats Ooh, yeah Ooh. and then it's like oh the egg is now gone. It's all been eaten away and depleted. But guess what? You still got all those other fat in your body. It's going to hold you over till lunchtime or whatever the fuck meal you're going to have next. And that's how it works, folks. It's all about the crash or the nice slow burn. Woo.
all the way across. A slow, steady burn, just like this vape. Oh, it, tur it turns off after a few minutes. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's about all I got to say today. Yuck, 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 yuck. Have y'all been enjoying the traffic going by as we sit here and discuss life? Hmm. I'm enjoying it. It's funny, though, because the Wi-Fi uh, tower is across the street. Right over on that stick on that tower right there on that one and uh you get a good connection coming across but when the cars are all lined up together uh all those people's phones are auto connecting to that tower so i notice when it gets like really congested here if you're like watching Netflix or YouTube or some shit, it might like start to give you that little like loading, loading, that little spinny thing. And uh, yeah, it's if you look up, like you're sitting here like watching your show and then you look up and you're like, oh yeah, of course, it's all these cars everywhere. Because uh, a lot of people have this system, it's called Shaw Go. It's everywhere in the city. Uh, these hot spots are set up. And if, you're, if you have Shaw internet at home, then you do a little thing and you sign up with your device and you register your device and then you can get onto the Shaw Go everywhere in the city. Uh, and it connects you and then it'll drop and then you'll get to a few blocks down the street and it'll connect again. And it's, it's widespread. It's everywhere, all through the city. Um, and I just want to mention, it's all 5G. When you connect... It's connected to a 5G network. So all this, I don't know. It's already here. It's already everywhere in the city. Uh, and people are like freaking out. Like tinfoil hat people are freaking out about 5G going up everywhere. But I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, it's everywhere. And like all the horror shit you read online. Like, oh, they put a 5G tower next to a school. And every kid in that school got brain tumors. Like you keep reading weird shit like that. And I'm like... Well, everybody here doesn't have brain tumors, and this 5G has completely blanketed the whole city. Uh, so I'm not, I don't know, man. You got to take that shit with a grain of salt, that tinfoil hat conspiracy shit, because you can be convinced, you can go down a rabbit hole. It's easy to be convinced uh, when someone throws enough facts at you. Whoa, well, look at these studies. Well, look at these facts. Well, this, and then there's like, correlative evidence where it's like oh well if it's true for this then it must be true for this too and like that's like you didn't actually test it you're just saying that like oh it's like the thing with rats right they're always saying like oh it tested positive in rats so it must be good for people well no because it, it's a fucking rat and we're people I know there's some similar shit but at the same time like you'll never really know until you test it on a person and, yeah, that's, like, correlative evidence. You can't just correlate and say, because of this, then this. Uh, and you can't just say that with technology either. Uh, so, why am I even talking about this? Oh, because we connect. The, the, the traffic takes my signal away. Bastards. That's it for today. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. And all that other good noise. Ding! Every couple day update. Every couple day update. Remember, for every time you breathe, you have to rage!